Virgos, hello my loves. Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading. Yes, yes, yes. Readings are timeless. If you find this message, there is something in here for you. However, <clears throat> excuse me, if it's not for you now, there may be a seed planted for tomorrow. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts. Pick a note. It really doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now, please don't curse me in the comments. I love you too, okay? Guys, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. In advance, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again, truly. All right, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so at this time. I'd love to have you. Virgos, uh, as usual, you guys are showing up and showing off. I mean, showing up and showing off. You coming in so strong today. Uh, format change and everything. I didn't see this coming. Um, this doesn't feel to me like any type of past, present, future, outcome, blockage, possibilities. It, it, this is where you are now is what I heard. Okay? This is where you are now. All four of these oracles, uh, Dreams of Gaia, I'm referring to these. Uh, I was going to pull an animal spirit. I was led to the Sacred Rebel. Sacred Rebel pulled. Every journey starts with a single step. And oh, Shama Lama Ding Dong, baby. Spirals of manifestation at the bottom of the deck. I love it. I love it. I love every bit of it. Uh, I think that you are right now just mastering um manifesting i think that you're dreaming i think that you're dreaming big i think that uh it's going to come in layers um not like an onion being peeled but being built if that makes sense like creating an onion as opposed to peeling an onion to get to the source you are the source and you're building the onion around you just to give you some type of what I'm saying, okay? Bad analogy, sorry. <laughs> Don't nobody want to walk around smelling like an onion. Um, I just think that um, some of you may feel that this is breadcrumbing and it's not. It's, it's really, every step is so important. Every step is so important, but you have to take it. I'm just saying, every step is very important and you're going to get something in every step you take, but you have to take the step. You have to take the step, okay? You got to do it. You got to do it. Something, you're not closing out something to, to begin for whatever reason, for whatever reason. This bag is, is just cracked open. You understand? So she's holding it up and it's, the stuff is getting ready to fall out. So either uh, Divine is going to release some baggage for you or you need to close your bag and get to stepping. Okay? Um, I think that you're dreaming big. I really stand by that. I think you have like aspirations out this world. And it's time to get started. Page of fire here. Masculine, feminine energy taking in all accounts of everything. Good, bad, and different. Um, new inspiration, new ideas, new passion. Uh, thoughts all over the place. Possibilities endless. Sky is the limit. You know what I mean? Intuition is here. Because divine is on your behind like a mother lover, like your guides are in your ear, in your, I mean, constantly, Con you're not getting, you're not, yeah, in your sleep while you pooping, don't matter to me, in the shower, you're not getting a moment's rest because it's so important for you to whatever, for whatever into your destiny, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time, period. Mother energy here, loving, caring, nurturing, birthing energy, birthing life-changing events. The mother births new life, new ideas, new inspiration, getting it going, but you're stuck in your head holding on to something with this aid of air here. Why would you hold the knife upside down knowing you, this fool is standing here bleeding and is choosing to bleed. Hello?
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The hero is at the bottom of the deck. Night of fire, energy, passion, focus, will, drive, determination. It's just frantic. It's still valid. It's still uh, real, but it's frantic. The knight of wands got to move, got to go, got to go, got to go, got to go, got to go. They don't stay, you know, they don't stay focused. They got to go. It's a great Saturday night and a lonely Sunday morning. That's why the nine of uh, wands energy um, is known as the player. Uh, in this deck, though, it's the hero. Here I come to save the day. So somebody might come in and really light your fire, light your match. It might even be this reading. Get going. The mama bear is coming. You understand? To protect that Virgo or Virgo, you're going to go protect somebody. Somebody has divine clarity coming in and it's going to rush in like a, a, a flood, like woof. And I think that's what your guides are trying to do for you. It's time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And I'm not sure it's like you can see the end result or you can see a piece of the journey far off. You just can't see you getting from here to there because the goal is here. You can see, you know, where you are. You can see where you should be to start. You just got to start taking steps. Take some steps and get out your head and, and, and turn this damn knife around. That's what I want you to do because whatever you think is holding you back is not. Whatever you think is controlling you is not. Whatever you think has power over you, it does not. This is in your head. This is not in existence, okay? I want to start with uh, this passion and damn lovers i love this energy gemini energy and uh this could be about relationships it can be about uh co-parenting it could be about um business partnerships uh lovers uh can also represent the need to make a choice a decision needing to be made okay because divine is about to step in and make that decision for you if you don't get a move on. And you know when God start getting involved in your decisions, it usually hurt. I ain't going to lie because that means you got to take a weapon. Now, who wants a weapon? I don't want no weapon. Give me one on this lovers. The chariot. Oh, Virgo. Seriously? Seriously? What you need, an Uber? Let me call you an Uber because you got to go, baby. Ser <laughs> what, didn't I just say God going to... <laughs> Nay. this is like you know the chariot is coming in this is coming in like you know somebody told you they was coming and then they show up at your door and the house is a mess your hair is a mess you, you know you got Mitch Matt socks on you're not ready but you had all the information to get ready get ready your ride is coming baby the chariot and uh has no brakes. Let me get one and then we're gonna keep it moving to the six of wands. Victory. Virgo, it's your time. It's time. Everybody knows it. Virgo is looking good, smelling good, feeling good, successful, victorious. It's time to go claim your prize and go into your destiny. I'm here in the eight of air. Okay. Seven of wands. Um, I didn't expect to jump like that. I'm sorry. That's what paused me. Um, okay. So you're defending whatever reason that has you stuck. Seven of wands is a defensive energy. You standing on it. You know, you see this man fighting these lower wands, these lower wands emphasis on lower because these wands can't even reach him. So why are you fighting something that that can't even touch you? I'm just saying. Didn't I just say that? Whew. One on the seven of wands. Six of pentacles. Breadcrumbs. You're in your... You're, oh, okay. Comfort. Comfortable. Comfortable. Virgo, some of you are comfortable. Where you are with what you're doing. You're not trying to rock the boat. But uh, Divine is saying, sorry, we're going to rock this boat. Uh, the, the boat is being rocked with or without you. Because, yeah, let me get one on the six. 
the sun, two of swords. You're going to have uh, this uh, Leo energy here with the sun, Virgo, Tor I mean, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the two of swords. Uh, you're going to have uh, clarity and illumination on to help you with your decision, to see why, that's what I'm hearing, not more so what, but to see why you need to make this choice, why you need to rock this boat, why a decision needs to be made, um, and what it's going to affect and bring into your life. I'm hearing the mother, and we have a knight of wands reverse and a king of cups reverse. So, Coming into uh, this motherhood energy, this nurturing, life-changing, birthing energy uh, is maybe helping somebody uh, sit still because we just talked about the Knight of Wands being um, an anxious energy, very passionate, but um, very anxious. You know, uh, it's a hot potato, okay? Uh, King of Cups is... Uh, the King of Cups is extremely emotional, but very emotional, uh, emotionally controlled. Okay. Um, you may become, if this is a relationship situation, you may be helping somebody with uh, their emotional issues. Uh, yeah, that's how I feel. Almost like therapeutic uh, energy. Like if you're a therapist or you're being called to be some type of therapist or counselor. Um you may be trying to help a fire sign. Ten of Pentacles with their family issues. Yeah, they might have family issues, you know. Um, and if this is your calling, then let it be. Then answer it. Why would you not want to help people? What, whatever, maybe this is a job change that you're scared of, that you're contemplating. Um but if, if you know God is leading you to it, then it must be for you, okay? And if he's using you to help another, then that, that person then needs to be set on a path that has a destiny that helps all of us uh, as all God's people. You understand what I'm saying? Tell me about this intuition. Yep. Why, I don't know why Virgos specifically, you guys feel that your gifts are such a burden. Um, So much shame, so much shame. And I thought I was bad, but I, I think it's because a lot of you, I'm not going to lie, you never learned how to not have it, to, to control it. And... um. Not being able to turn it off is, is mean it's like constantly having your third eye always open. You're always absorbing other people's um, problems, situations, you know, trials and tribulations, you know, and that's uh, hard for you, especially trying to deal with them and your own life at the same time. Um, and maybe you regret not addressing this matter earlier in your life. You know, but you're still living. It, you're still living. You know, turn around. Turn around, okay? Face the future and move on to move on into uh, your promise and your gifts and so that you can learn how to control it or uh, or you can you can talk to God about, you know, uh, I'm hearing you. I, you don't want it. I heard you. And there it is. You see? <laughs> if you don't want it, you know, I don't think that he'll burden you with something you can't handle. Um, you know, God don't give you more than you can handle. So it's not that you can't handle it. Um, but I think that every relationship with God is personal. I think that if you ask God, like, God, I appreciate everything that you're doing in my life, but this is just not something I'm, I want to uh, deal with, you know, or... I'm ready for, or I want to face, I, I, you know, 
then tell him. And, you know, I can't see him. Not, maybe he'll take it from you and give it to somebody else. Because if your alternate goal is to help others, then this uh, person that's waiting for uh, your help or people that are waiting for your help will still get the help. It'll just be from another mother. But you're being called to become this mother. Virgos, you with me? I know we all over the place, but don't blame me. All right. This is your energy and it's coming out like really, this is how you are right now. You're all over the place. So this reading is all over the damn place. All right. So work with me. Okay. Um, but I, I, I personally feel that, like I said, I believe in God and, um, I believe that every relationship is personal. And if the answer is no, Virgo, I'm not taking nothing. How are you going to tell me to take something I didn't gave to you? What are you talking about? Then, you know, receive that conversation and ask for guidance. Well, you know, can you at least give me some courage? How, how about a little bit of strength? You know what I'm saying? A, a shot of tequila. Whatever it is that it's going to take for you to get your nerves together. Because your nerves is all over the place. But your dreams are so promising and prosperous and abundant like you foresee greatness in yourself and for what you can bring to the world. But for whatever reason, this step is a mother lover. I mean, it's a high, it's like, you know, having, if you are a petite person, you know, short legs, me, I'm a long torso person. I have short limbs. You know, look, at I got Tyrannosaurus arms. I mean, T-Rex arms, seriously. I mean, it's bad. So I understand <laughs> <laughs> when you got to take a high step, it take a lot out of you. <laughs> so you feel like this step is so damn high. It's like, how am I going to do that? But you don't know until you try take the step. And if it's another high step, just stand there and get you the stretch. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself together. <laughs> Virgos, you can do it. I know you can. You can do it. And for whatever reason, all of this is right now. Okay. All of this is right now. This is everything for every, the energy of right now. When you're getting this reading, when you're watching this reading, I'm not talking about the past. I'm not talking about what's crowning you. Cause you know, that's my normal format, um, obstacles and things like that. I'm talking about you. Okay. I do feel like, um, this issue here is all in your head, and I think that you know it, but uh, God is going to now put some more light on it, you know, to help you see uh, the importance of why it's time for you to take this step, all right? Because it is definitely time, and I, I know it's going to require some work, especially with that 10 of wands on the intuition. It's going to require some work, some spiritual work, okay? And spiritual work is always painful. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I, I, I would love to tell you different. Spiritual people normally are people who have uh, endured a lot of pain in life and... Um, endured the growing pains of spiritual development you know it's hard flying around all over the place and then having to come back and and then get up and face reality in the 3d with a real world you got you have a stand on the floor and make sure it don't move because sometimes it's rocky like you be like stay st you know virgo i know you know what i'm talking about you know what I'm saying? You can stay still because it feel like you're still flying because you just woke up like the whole like the floor is just rocking. You understand? And you have to regroup. And that's how you, you just learn control. These things that you're experiencing are normal things. They just not normal to you. And you don't want to tell nobody I woke up and the floor was moving. They're going to look at you like you damn crazy. I get it. I get it. I, I When Taurus had an awakening, I even Googled, you know, some type of helplines because I wanted to put it on my channel. People who are going through spiritual awakenings, uh, spiritual uh, transformations, things like that. But there was nothing available. There's really nothing open for people who are... Um, empathic or dreamers or travelers or uh feelers you know i don't know the proper name there's astrology information that people that study the stars and know about the moon in the second house and the third house of the fourth node in the second whatever I, I don't know nothing about that so i don't talk on it but 
That's why I say sun, moon, rise. I mean, pick a, tip, pick a node don't matter to me. Astronauts don't matter, you know. But when you feel, when you're born with a gift and you're not like magician energy using tools and, and crafts and things like that, when you're born with something in your spirit, in your bloodline, um, you, your normal is different. And because you maybe have said something to some people and they look at you crazy. So you don't say nothing no more, you know, because you just feel like it's you and it Virgos is not just you. And I wish we had a format. I was thinking about that. Maybe just an open, what do you, now I'm saying open mic. What do they call that? Podcast. I was, I'm, you know, maybe we'll do that. Maybe you should do that. How about that? I'll be on there with you. I'm calling you Virgo. My floor is moving again. Help me. <laughs> Virgos, I'm rambling. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. I can't make it up. I love all of this. Um, congratulations to you with your um, elevation once again. Okay. Uh, ancestral heritage, extremely strong once again. Virgos, you always show up and show off. You guys are so powerful. Uh, those of you who are struggling with uh, manifesting, um, just take your time, uh, one step at a time. Okay. Take your time one step at a time. All right. I love you guys all. I hope this helps. Um, please, whew, if this doesn't resonate for you, it's okay. Check your moon and rising signs, but don't take the energy with you. Leave it here for someone else. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe on the way out. And remember, we're all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.